So here's a quick update for all you lovely humans. So I posted that video of that cool little glowy orb thing. That, well, it's big and it has fire in it. That thing, it's a forge. Um, it's for blacksmithing. I was able to take a class, like a three-hour class of blacksmithing, just the uh, on Monday, which was awesome. Um, it was my, my birthday present, actually, which made me happy. Um, so I'm actually kind of reconfiguring that forge. What I posted there was a test run. Um, this video will probably go over a minute, so I don't know why I'm holding it up right. That's okay. Um, and so that's the forge, what you call the forge body. And it's basically just any piece of metal that can hold insulation in place and that you can put a burner into. Um, the insulation that I'm using is I have, let's see, can I switch it around? No, whatever just happened. Here we go. So I have what's called a fire brick on the bottom and that is extremely high temperature resistant um, material. Uh, this is a dense fire brick. Um, a while ago, I made my first iteration of the forge. This is more fire break, this is dense stuff. So it's like really heavy. Um, you can see breakage. It's just, it's really dense. Um, so my first iteration of a forge was uh, all made out of um, soft fire brick. So not dense, but um, it broke really easily. <laughs> It didn't have any kind of shell around it, so it was basically just the fragile insulation. So it um, it died <laughs> a while ago. So I've been working on a new forge, and so this is originally a propane tank. Um, originally, you saw in the first video, I had a burner in the side. You can see the bluing there that occurs from heat on steel, which is kind of cool. Um, but I realized it would be better to have the burner in the top, so I cut this hole today with a hole saw. Um, and it was pretty cool, and I, I figured it was a good opportunity to show you the layers of insulation. So this is probably what, like 16, 16 to 14 gauge steel that this is made out of. That just means it's relatively, it's pretty thick for like sheet metal. Um, and then you see the squishy stuff, that's called kale wool. Here's the plug that I got out of it, because there's two layers, so it was originally just like this. And it is deceptively cuddly, squishy uh, insulation, and it is insanely high temperature. It is essentially wool that is made out of ceramic fibers, which ceramic is extremely hard and extremely sharp. So if that, if those fibers get kicked up, I've been wearing a mask all day actually, because if those fibers get kicked up and you breathe them in, your lung tissue can do nothing <laughs> against how sharp those things are. So. I sealed it all in with this refractory cement, which is this, this hard layer. Um, I'm happy the whole saw didn't crack it all on the top. It just, you know, sawed through it. Um, so yeah, so with those layers in place, so the main insulation is the KO wool. The refractory cement kind of keeps it in place, and then that brick on the bottom is so that the, neither the refractory cement or the KO wool get damaged from me sliding stuff in and out and working on it. Um, so yeah, it's almost done. I'll probably paint it with some heat resistant paint that I got. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be taking that KO wool over on the table and plugging up this original hole and then welding the um, piece of metal that I cut out of it back on. <laughs> but really it does, I don't actually even really need to weld it back on as long as it's insulated. Uh, and then of course put some, some more cement in there, which I have some extra of. Um, yeah, if you guys want, want me to talk about any other aspect of this at any time, uh, just let me know. Um, I do quite a few projects and sometimes think, huh, should I, should I be filming this? Should I, you know, do people prefer more of a set up video where I've thought it out, scripted it ahead of time, which I actually have a lot of those in mind. I just have a hard time uh, uploading them sometimes. <laughs> that's a, a whole mental health thing that we'll talk about. And that's, you know, just ADHD and perfectionism and all those things, um, which I've talked about briefly. But yeah, so if you want to see anything more about forging, about, you know, the basically the flamethrower which I <laughs> constructed, which is this burner, which will now go up, up, over, and in through the top um, with a blower on there or welding, or of course medieval weaponry, like this dagger that I've been working on. This is a dagger blade, uh, like 15th century, single-edged. Just let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear it. 
Hello, hello. So I'm just going to show you a little bit more of what I uh, did today on my forge. It's all done, which I'm very excited about. So it's got the burner going into the top. It's got this blower, which blows the propane from this tank into the burner, goes through there, through there, and into the hole here. And so today, a lot of what I did Today a lot of what I did was cut that hole right there and then I, you know, fitted the burner into there and then made more refractory cement, which is this stuff. Let's see what they call it because it's so good and the customer service is really good when I ordered this. Okay, so it's the, whoop, the Iron Dungeon Forge Green Patch 421. It's so, it's so good. And it comes as like a, a thick paste and then I uh, water it down a little bit. And then I just apply it with my hands. And so then I filled in that hole in the side where the original burner was with the refractory wool and then covered that up. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry overnight and then I'm gonna give it the final cure by turning on the burner, heating it up. I also uh, made a little makeshift cover for the hole. Just did little tack welds with pieces of metal that I had. Uh, so yeah, oh, 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 I also um, kind of sealed in the burner with more refractory wool, uh, just so that flame isn't coming out through that gap there. I'm very, very happy with this. I'm very excited to use it.